So there's a, a sign in with Google uh, button on probably a couple million websites right now. If you ever wanted to build that kind of sign in uh, with your website experience, like share your data with you know external apps or with multiple websites that you own, and you kind of want to become an OAuth provider, uh, that's what I help people do. Um, so OAuth is uh, not like a single thing. OAuth is a, a pretty large collection of protocols that's been published over the last uh, you know, several years. And these protocols come from organizations like the IETF and the OpenID Foundation. And last time I you know, went and counted, there's actually 40 plus uh, RFCs. So it's a pretty big body of work. Uh, and the nice thing about using OAuth and kind of participating in this ecosystem is there's thousands of companies and tens of thousands of security experts and developers that have like spent time with this protocol uh, and you know working out all of the, the the bugs and all of the security issues and making it really battle standard. Um, and so you don't have to reinvent everything from scratch. You get to kind of stand on the shoulders of others and you know reuse what's already there, which is really really nice. I've read through through some of these RFCs, and I got to tell you, it's nice for putting me to sleep at night. <laughs> <laughs> some of them, uh, some of them are pretty dry. Uh, anything that's encryption related is just over my head. Uh, but a lot of the the OAuth ones, some of them can get pretty short. Like the seven or eight page ones are really good. Um, I, we'll probably talk about this a little bit in the MCP side too. But the, all the words of like should and must, and yeah, it's like oh my gosh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, the first time I read an RFC, I was like, oh, my God, this is terrible. And then I, I came back, you know, the next week because I had like a job I needed to do. And I read the RFC again. And I was like, well, that was a little bit easier to get through. Uh, and then every time you go back and you like reread the same paper, you it all clicks a little bit more and it just becomes a bit uh, easier. And then, you know, the 10th time you sit down with the document, you're like, all right, I think I know what's going on now. <laughs> Let That's good. Be Your memory's better than mine, then. <laughs> <laughs> so OAuth uh, kind of helps solve this this general internet problem of taking user data from one place on the internet and sticking it somewhere else. Um, this is something that happens kind of all over. If you've got multiple websites, uh, it's really common to share your data from one website to another. Uh, it's really common to share your data from a website to a native app, like uh, something running on your computer, like Slack or Zoom or something running on your phone. Uh, and it's really common to share your data uh, even to devices like televisions. And OAuth is about how the user and the, the service provider, the thing that owns the data, uh, work together to agree how this data should be shared.